Hey guys, so I, I was working on a project and um, I, I made this effect. Uh, this is the one. It's like an energy vortex um, made with uh, turbulence noise. And this was inspired from a post I, was, I saw when I was scrolling Instagram by uh, No Seta. Seta. Um, insane guy. He makes some insane VFX in After Effects. So yeah, um, he made a post about how to make something similar to this. He gave ba the basic effects he used and he didn't really give like the actual value. So yeah, I decided to make it in my own way and decided to make it a tutorial by all credits to him though, because without him, I wouldn't have made this effect. Um, second of all, uh, this, this tutorial is all going to be like spontaneous. Uh, I just recorded it because I was like, yeah, it's cool. Let me just show it and i have nothing script so i might stumble on my words a lot so yeah let's get into it um so there is two steps there's two steps to this effect um obviously you have the the effect layer with the turbulence noise and all the other effects where you have the actual um the vortex and then you have the displacement layer this one uh, let me turn it off so yeah you can see the difference Okay, so I'll go step by step. You can follow it. And also, I, I will link uh, the project file and all the extra effects you might need uh, in the description. Um, I'm also, I'm pretty sure uh, in this uh, in this uh, post set I made, uh, you can make this effect without plugins. Obviously, like, you know, plugins make some stuff look way nicer. Deep low. <laughs> but yeah, okay. Let's get started. So, first of all, Add a noise, uh, add a solid layer, then add turbulence noise. Um, my, or the settings he said was to use smear, but he didn't really say anything else except for invert. Um, so the settings I used was minus ten. Uh, yep. Then open sub setting. Do uh, ninety. And for this, sixty, sixty or seventy, I think seventy maybe. Yeah, that works well. Uh, then open up transform, un unclick the uniform scaling, change the scale width to 315, and then do scale width to like 1500. You should get like this very, very clean looking um, turbulence noise. Then um, keyframe the offset scale from the beginning to the end. I don't know, you can choose whatever value you want. Let me just do like a random amount. Yeah. Uh, depending on how much you offset does does the speed. You can also like use scripts, not scripts, uh, expressions, but doesn't really matter. Um, then do evolution. Um, keyframe evolution. I I do normally one or two. It doesn't really change the amount. I think one works well. Yeah. Okay. Close turbulence noise. Okay. Um. Next, added YY ramps. Um. So this is an external add-on you might have to download. You can use um, S underscore gradient or any other gradient effects. The problem is uh, when you add those, you're going to have to either, you're going to have to change the blending mode um, to remove either the black or the white, either using Unimo or like um, multiplying. That's why I use YY ramps. It has a blend mode option inside. So as you can see, I can just change it. Um, the reason I'm using this, actually wait, there might be another uh, another effect that does the same thing, but I don't know of it. The reason I'm using YY ramps, or the reason I'm using this effect in the first place, is so I can darken the bottom area where it goes from like a black gradient to like the actual image or the yeah the texture. The reason is when I uh, make this into a circular shape, I don't want to have this. Uh, I don't I don't want this to be the edge and it to be like super hard contrasting from like the actual texture and going straight to nothing instead i'd rather it be like slowly grading out grading in i mean so you get like a, a fall a fall off that's what that's what i was trying to find yeah so yeah do that just change it to multiply and you don't have to change any of the other settings then go to then then add a effect called polar ordinance change the interpolation to 100 and then change the conversion type to react to polar. 
do you get this looks nice uh you the problem with this is you also get this like edge off pause uh you get this weird edge fall off and um and i'm pretty sure there is a way of fixing it but like kind of stupid so i don't know uh you can probably figure it out and also i think it goes away when i when you have the other effect so for out for now who cares um add then the next effect add 12 and change the angle to like 30 maybe even 40 uh, yeah 30 works um and then change the 12 radius for me 40 works you might have to change it depending on what you want and how much you want and also your composition size so yeah um next add curve what i did when the curve section was added these two points and then increase the top one so you get like a stronger highlight like that and like that works um then add union mode okay this is where it gets serious yeah uni on mo might be one of the best effects second to deep blow one of the best effects because when i was learning after effects and i was trying to do visual effect holy crap i could not get rid of the black i was using lumen key whatever you i don't know the screening and none of the work uni on mo the go because it, it gets rid of the blacks keeps the whites perfectly like that mm, crisp and you can just play around with Arthur. So yeah, um, next add VC color vibrance and change the color to whatever you want. I did like a fiery orange, something like that. Yeah, looks cool. Then add deep glow. Obviously the best effect. Who can live without deep glow? I do like a thousand for the radius exposure i mean you can increase it i don't think it matters uh, okay i'm back uh so the deep glow yeah keep the radius to 1000 and then exposure keep it one you can also change it, it doesn't really matter yeah but the problem with if you increase the exposure you get like these strong hot spots of highlights so it's yeah now we're pretty much done if you want to tweak it you can go to the Practical noise section and then increase the brightness. See, like, let's do like okay, let's do like a let's change the value to like minus five. Yeah, that looks good. Uh, okay, then wait, let me let me set up like a background quickly. So let me add checkerboard, increase this to like 60, and then gradient ramp. Oh yeah, wait, I'm stupid. Instead of using YY um uh, YY ramps, just use gradient wrap. You don't have to buy another plugin, just use gradient ramps and it works. It's the same. So yeah, um uh okay, this is my background. And then I'm gonna use this to show you the displacement you can get. So add an adjustment layer, and then you might have to download this uh this plugin it's called chromatic displacement uh, i'll show you another alternative you can use uh but for now chromatic displacement select the layer with the energy which is layer two for me effect a mask and let me show you something look you see how it's displaced this is the problem with after it is so stupid i don't know why it does this it should be default to where the initial point is right i don't know but um, the way I found that you can fix it, which is simple, just select the layer with the effects and then pre-comp it. And then go back to the effect and then select the layer with the uh, the pre-comp layer that has the energy. So yeah, you can see, here, let me go full quality. You can see it's already working. Uh, my settings for chromatic displacement was 20 and display amount I think was like 40, something like that, yeah. Um, it looks bad here because it's distorting the actual checkers, but in a normal image, it'll be distorting the, Im the actual background. So, look, same effect, I mean, same effect and values. So, yeah, um, that's the first thing. And then, I mean, this is pretty much the whole effect in itself. But um, what Sita did, or Sita Seta, what he did 
uh, I think was uh, change the blending mode to screen, duplicate this, either increase or decrease, uh, and then rotate. Let me increase it. And then VC color vibrance. Oh, by the way, this is also another extra add on. You can use the hue and like hints, but like I call like VC color vibrance super good. Like you can change the whites and the blacks. I mean, basically the white map to like whatever you want, and it's super clean. Uh, yeah. So see that thing? He changed it like this, and yeah, basically did this. His one was like a purple and red, or was it blue and red? I don't remember. But yeah, um. This is how he got his variant. Um, there is another thing. So if you want the inside to move with like your transition, uh, this this is mainly if you have a camera layer and you're trying to move the energy in a three D space, uh, and because you comp it, uh, it's not moving right now. There is two options. One either uh copy the camera layer with the nose or the adjustments put it into the actual uh, like composition where the energy is and then enable the cube uh, the 3d layer or just enable the 3d layer go back to the main composition where there is the energy comp and the camera layer and press this button which will allow the the actual composition inside and all the attributes to move with the camera layer and its value uh which pretty much like it cleans up your workflow a lot and like your timeline yeah um another thing oh i was gonna say uh, another alternative for chromatic displacement but if you don't have this the one you could use is displacement pro or displacement map yeah so same thing select your energy layer and then you can displace it like this the problem with this is like it's not the best kind of bad like yeah so if you can try get chromatic displacement saves lives literally or I, more like saves edits but yeah um yeah that's pretty much it guys learn fractal noise or turbulence noise you can make so much cool stuff with it and also uni uni unmote use it everyone use it so yeah that's it also um i'm trying spontaneous types of tutorial where i'm not scripting anything and i'm just yapping and like explaining more naturally so it feels like you guys are learning with me uh let me know how you found it and also if you are confused about any any effect or how to change or if you're having a problem comment down and try help so yeah that's it um i'll probably make some more while i'm working on my own project if i have anything cool and also quick quick teaser boom yeah i put in my story okay see you guys